Alright, so I switched up my display. Um, last time I showed my display, it was all Transformers. So I wanted to rotate it. Um, this is actually all of like a X-Men Marvel Legends theme. Um, I guess I'll go through it. So this is, uh, this is Toy Biz, Iceman, uh, Red Hulk, uh, Tiger Stripe, Wolverine, and Ultimate. Um, Ultimate X-Men Nightcrawler, and that was from the, uh, the X-Men Classics line. Um, then you got Kitty Pride. Um, I think that was from the Juggernaut line. Um, then the X-Men Classics line, um, Archangel. Then you got the uh, you got the uh, Rogue from the Juggernaut line uh, from the Hasbro. Uh, I've got a Toy Biz Psylocke, which I'm hoping that they make, I'm hoping Hasbro makes a new Psylocke. Um, that would be pretty cool. Then you've got like this modern age type of uh, Iceman. And I think that was also with the Juggernauts line. Uh, you got a Toy Biz uh, Mr. Sinister. Uh, you got a Toy Biz Pyro. Got a Hasbro. Jean Grey or Phoenix and I, I don't like what they did with the eyes it's pretty cross-eyed in this um, there we go then we got a uh, I think it's a, a warlock not a warlock um, Douglock sorry Douglock um, Cyclops then we got a Toy Biz Bishop uh, Doug Lock or Hasbro um, Sunfire, which I'm really happy about. I hope Hasbro makes a Age of Apocalypse uh, version. Um, then here's the Build a Figure Juggernaut that came out a couple of years ago. Um, then got a Toy Biz Colossus, uh, which is still the best Marvel Legends Colossus in my view. Um, and you got a Marvel Legends Cable. <laughs> Got a Hasbro, and th those are both Hasbro, by the way. Um, Hasbro Scarlet Witch, uh, Hasbro Deadpool, uh, Hasbro Havoc, then the Cinematic Universe. We got a uh, you know, Jessica Jones. Uh, we got a John Bernthal Punisher. We got the, the Bandai um, uh, White Ranger, the Green Ranger, um, background. We got uh, Public Enemies, um, Batman from the Batman Superman animated movie or animated cartoon. Um, then we got the Superman from that. Um, I like. So the, the skin is, um, it was originally the, the paint was like a lighter, um, like hue skin tone. And then it's, uh, it's changed to like a darker, more olive skin tone. So I really like how he looks now. Um, for much more like a brown Superman, which I, I really like. Um, then you got a DC Icons Green Arrow, which is a fantastic figure. Um. And I got a DC Universe Classics Harley Quinn. And then got a DC Universe Classics Alan Scott uh, Green Lantern. DC Universe Classics Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Um, then I've got a... I'm not sure if this was Bandai or not, but this was... Um, it was definitely, I think, definitely Square Enix made like a, like before the figures that you see now, like the uh, maybe like the eight to ten inch scale. They made a smaller scale Kingdom Hearts line. So this is the the goofy Kingdom Hearts from that line, and you can see in the background his uh, his shield. Um, got a kid robot, Raphael, that was gifted to me from uh, from my godbrother. 
Yeah, we got a NECA. Um, I forgot what the dog's name is, and then uh, and Jim Carrey's uh, character from Kick-Ass 2. But this is also from Kick-Ass 2, which is Kick-Ass. And then we got a Mattel Toys um, Nelson from the Simpsons line. Got a uh, got a Bart Simpson. I think it was a Kui. That's the name of it, a Kui. Um, I think it was, it was uh, also a kid robot. Let me see. No, it's just Kui. Okay. So it was a... Uh, yeah, it's just Kui. Alright, and then... That there. And then you got a Bartman Mattel line. And then the Playmates toys, um, the Tick figure, and in the background all those plastic bags are like the accessories. Got a NECA Hit Girl, and then um, this was a pretty cool line. Um, I think they were called Pop Heroes, but uh, so it was basically all the independent comic books. Like they they made a line for them. And included the Tick, um, Dick Tracy, and uh, a certain uh, other uh, levels of characters. But this is the uh, this is the mucus variant of uh, the Tick. And then this was like an online only version. Um, it was for a, a particular website. I forgot what it's called, but it's a it's a translucent blue tick um unfortunately none of the facial features are painted on but you can see like the molding of it that's pretty cool um and then on the front yeah so you got the mega blocks or mega constructs is what they're calling themselves now he-man and skeletor so these are my only motu or masters of the universe action figures um, we've got this weird, I don't know if this is supposed to be kryptonite, or this is supposed to be like, like a, you know, something like a projectile type of deal to show like the power. Um, we've got a really vintage, an old school toy. Um, this is a Goofy Nodder, and I think, I believe this was made... The year was over here somewhere. Mm, I believe I, it said... Hmm. Hong Kong. I'm gonna take a look at it outside of the camera. I think it said 19, somewhere in the 1920s. This was made. Oh well. Yeah, it's a it's a vintage figure, but it's really cool. Um. Then this is from the Pirates Mini Mates collection. Um, it's a Ghost Shark. I did a video review on this a few weeks back. It's a really cool figure. Um, I don't think the you, you can't really like you can't open its jaw, but just to have it is pretty cool. And it's translucent on the top. And then here's a, this is Dodgy Donut from the Grocery Gang. And I got this because it reminded me of uh, the Food Fighters from back in the 80s. So it's a smaller version of them and they're much more vibrant. They're less um, crude, so to speak. Um, a little less Rob Crumb. And if you don't know who that is, then uh, definitely look that up. 
uh, Rob Crumb is uh, pretty, <laughs> he's a pretty crazy uh, uh, artist, but um, yeah, definitely look that up. And then I got this accessory, like it's this diorama piece from Luke's Toy Store. It's a cardboard piece that you could use in the background for like toy photography. Um, I'm actually working on a diorama piece right now, so I, I don't want to show that off yet. And then here's Professor X's chair, which I do need a legend for. Hopefully Hasbro makes one. If not, um, I do like the Toy Biz as well. That's pretty cool as well. And yeah, so this is the display for now. Alright, so here's my other part of my display. Um, it's pretty... It's somewhat the same. Um, I got this Halo, I think it's, I think it was like a, like an old Mega Bloks Halo uh, vehicle. And I want to paint that to make it like a, you know, like part of the uh, foot slash shredder vehicle. So I'm going to paint it black and gray and purple. Um, so I have yet to start that. I've got a DC Collectibles Robin from the animated series Batman. Um, Got a Tailspin Blue. Uh, I've got a McFarlane, or is it? No, actually, that was NECA. So I got a NECA Stan Lee um, Simpsons figure with the television title, the WCW television title. I've got. I've got a Jack's Toys, um, damn, I can't, can't believe I don't remember the name of this guy, but, um, yeah, I got this from Super Mario, got, um, Tigger, and then I got this Build-A-Figure, and that was from the first Guardians of the Galaxy. I got this from Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, it's Vulture, which is really cool. Uh, I really like Michael Keaton's uh, Vulture. I <laughs> so this is an old tag from like some slim denim that I got from Polo. Um, it's a pretty cool tag. I want to actually make something about uh, with it. So. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Um, got a weird phantom figure. Got a Usagi Yojimbo figure. I've got a Yondu Marvel Legends, and this was from the recent version in the Guardians of the Galaxy. And a Barbera Yogi, Yogi Bear. And then, surprisingly enough, the Hasbro brought out that old Build-A-Figure uh, Groot. And then it just gave him a different head. And repackaged that. So, um, I actually got that. And then, I got a BB-8 stuck up here. Um, got Mojo from from the Minimates line. Got a Medusa from the Walgreens exclusive Minimates. Um, I got Rocket Raccoon from the first Guardians of the Galaxy Minimates wave. Got a couple of uh, Toothlesses from um, uh, How to Train Your Dragon. I forgot the name of this guy too. And then I got a vintage uh, Winnie the Pooh um, collection back there. It's pretty bad shape, but um, it's still, you know, it's, it's still legible. I could still read everything. I also got a couple of new shirts. I got a Bootios shirt, which is pretty cool. And then I got a TJ Perkins shirt, and it's pretty cool because he has the. Uh, he has the Filipino flag in the background, and I'm not so happy that he's dabbing, because I hate the dab. Um, 
but I like TJ Perkins. I think it's pretty cool. And it's an 8-bit, so, um, you know, two, ne uh, was it? two things I like, two out of three, you know. I don't like the dab, but I do like the flag and an 8-bit, so, you know, that's pretty cool.